back to Phil's Cucina. Today, we're gonna to cook some chicken wings. And I know everybody loves chicken wings, so, you know, I expect this to get a lot of thumbs up and uh, push the button, push the likes. And uh, if you're not already a member, just join my, join my crew here. And subscribe okay so what I did was I put together some seasonings and you know they're all common seasonings. so I don't want to go into an elaborate thing with that so uh, the only other thing I added in here is uh, a little baking powder and the reason I did that is you know, I've been watching a lot of videos and you know everybody wants to make the best wings right and they, they want the crispiest wings and so, uh, there were some uh, chefs that were experimenting, using different things, trying to make the wings as crispy as possible. Well, so I tried it and it did, uh, it did a good job. So I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm sold. So, like I said, other than your common seasonings, like there's garlic powder, I'll list everything. We'll list everything in the notes for the video. Um, but what I do first is I've got some flats and some drumettes in here, like a tray of them. Okay, and what I'll usually do is add a little oil. This is a, a blended oil. And uh, most of the time I use olive oil. But I'm running really low on that, so I'm using... <laughs> some gift oil some friends brought brought that by for me and then the other thing i like to do is um use a little sesame oil because i put sesame seeds in my chicken wings and adding a little oil to it just gives it a you know accentuates it a little bit more all right so i use some tongs that's what i like to use to mix my my wings with and I, I get all that oil on all the pieces, mix it around, and what I'll do after that is I'll take my seasoning and I'll start to add that in. What I do is throw in a handful, you know, mix things around. Because you want to make sure that everything, every piece has, you know, a decent amount of seasoning on it. You know, you want that flavor. So I go in for another handful and mix that in. And then there's something that I like to do to get <clears throat> the wings good and sticky is First, I'll add a little hot sauce in because that's also adding some dynamics and some heat and flavor into this. About, I want to say, less than a tablespoon, just a little less. And I'll mix that in. And then the other thing I like to do is um, I use this Wonder Flour, Wondra, I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's made for mixing. It's made for gravies. Um, it's very fine and it blends really well and you don't get the lumps with it. So I like to put in a little bit, I would say not even a quarter of a cup. I like to sprinkle some in and coat the wings with it. And that also helps them to get nice and crispy. I'll mix that flour in. I'm telling you, I love wings. I mean, I could almost eat these things every night. I know my wife loves them too, so, you know, we're never gonna like have a house full of like extra wings in the refrigerator because we're gonna reheat them. I have, a, I have an air fryer now, so, like if um, 
I get hungry late at night or whatever, I could throw some in the air fryer and boom, fry them up again. Get them nice and crispy. Or you eat them cold. They're, they're delicious cold too. Now these are great for parties. You know, you can have these for a lunch or a dinner, but you know, you can also use it as an appetizer. All right, so now I've got the flour on. I've got some good seasoning. I'm gonna throw a little bit more seasoning in. And then what I like to do is I like to use sesame seeds. And I like to put a lot of sesame seeds on my drumettes. And so I get this, I get those seeds mixed up. And like I said, I'm gonna lay it a little bit more because the more to marry to me. I'll even add some once I got them on on the uh, sheet pan, ready to go. All right. So now I've got the sheet pan. I've I've pre-oiled um, the screen on top to make sure that the wings don't don't stick. And it's not like impossible to clean. I think my wife appreciates that a little bit. I mean, even though the dishwasher's not gonna clean that anyway, and you're gonna have to scrub it a little bit, but if you don't oil this, I mean, it's a sticky mess. All right, so we're getting them out here. Now I just set the oven for 350 and you know, you could cook these a lot higher, like I've done that before, but I, I don't like burning my wings. I want them crispy, but I don't want to burn them. So 350 seems like a good temperature I've found to, uh, to get them crispy, but not to burn them. Because once that, you know, some people like that char, you know, and and like the, the burnt taste, but uh, you know, I'm just, just be, I'm like the person just before it's burnt, I like it. <laughs> Super crispy, but not burnt. And I like my french fries like that too. All right, so here we go. We got this on here and uh, that looks good. So now what I'll do, is I'll go and add just a little more seasoning on the outside. Cause you know, I might've missed something. And I like to make sure that everything is gonna taste delicious and seasoned. Now, another thing about what I've used in this mix here is uh, I haven't put straight salt in it. so. There's pepper in here, but what I do is to try to keep my sodium down is to uh, use a mixture of a seasoning mixture that has a lot of other good flavors, but only has like a small amount of salt. So, you know, you can, I mean, if you don't have issues with your blood pressure, man, go ahead and salt the hell out of them, man. Just enjoy it. I mean, that's fine. Okay. So. Now what I do, after I got those extra seasonings on, I'll come back and I'll hit these, I'll hit these sesame seeds again. You know, a couple of them might stick, you know, some of them will fall off, but that's fine. But I just want to make sure, like I said, I love that flavor. I love the sesame seed and I, they toast up really nicely. And that's another thing, like if you were to cook these at 400 or 425, you know, you might burn the sesame seeds. And then, you know, that's not going to taste really good, I don't think. And uh, so that's why we're going with the lower temperature. 
And the reason why I'm 350 and not like 300 or something is because I don't want to wait all day. I want to eat those wings at some point in time. Now, you know, wings are delicious just like this, but I like to make like uh, blue cheese dressing, you know, um, sometimes, you know, you make some kind of a honey mustard or, you know, whatever you like as far as dipping sauce or, or nothing. I mean, I think these are tasty enough to where you don't need any, you know, thing to dip them into. And, uh, you know, some people like the buffalo, uh, you know, sauce. And, uh, but, you know, do what you like. Uh, so I'm at 350. I've got the wings all ready to go in the oven. And so we're going to get them in the oven and come back and show you the results. Hey, welcome back. So we have our wings in the oven and they look beautiful, crispy, nice. And we're going to take them out, show them to y'all. All right, can we see those? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So, now here's something else you can do if you want to dress these wings up a little bit. And I'll just do a couple of them because not everybody likes honey on their wings, but I just put a little bit, like just a, a trace of honey on them, just to give a little bit sweet and salty, and they're delicious. So anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for coming back and watching me, and uh, please give me comments, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll have another video for you really quickly. Thank you.